All right, folks, welcome back to Chicken Coop Radio. Coming to you from out here at the old Higgins place, right next to their big old uh, pasture. Used to be farmland, right next to their homestead. And we're actually right here in the chicken coop. They fixed it all up. They got this place held together with uh, barbed wire, chicken wire, electrical wire, hay wire, any other kind of wire you can imagine is out here holding this place together. But we've actually had four or five days with no major catastrophes. And uh, everybody is kind of amazed and pretty, pretty happy. So uh, maybe we got a real station going here. If we can get four or five more days like this, boy, we'll be, uh, we'll be ecstatic, ecstatic, with no static, hopefully. Anyhow, folks, this is uh, Carl String coming to you from the chicken coop and uh, so glad you could join us all two of you are out there listening I, they gave me the craziest shift they could come up with 2 to 4 a.m. and uh, anyhow as long as they keep the paychecks coming I guess I'll keep coming in manager told me say well I guess we got about everybody hired but uh could use somebody to come in and kick out the possums and a uh, boy guy sure knows how to make a Fella, feel good. Been in radio since the early 50s, so you'd think I command a little more respect than that, but I'll take what I can get. And uh, always got me little, little sideline things going on, so I'm not too upset. Anyhow, I ended up back home here after years and years of wandering the country doing radio in every podunk town in every state in the Union. But uh, always kind of seemed like people always end up back home or real close to it and the older you get the closer you get to being back home but uh never thought it happened to me thought i'd be out there making my millions and i don't know if i made that much but i think i spent that much or more so anyways folks we got a new sponsor maldine's ice cream that's right i'm sure y'all passed by it a million times going down main street she's there on fort Teen Maine and uh, Maud Deans wanted to do a little sponsorship because she's got a new flavor of ice cream and uh, if y'all have never been to Maud Deans that is pretty groundbreaking news because for two and a half years now now for folks who had never been in there this is going to be some amazing piece of information for you but for two and a half years she's only been serving vanilla ice cream that's right an ice cream shop with only one flavor and I'll tell you what her secret is and it's not that much of a secret if you stop in there but she has at least 50 probably more flavors of uh, fruit preserves and she will mix and match any flavor preserves my favorites peach what she'll do is dollop out some of that peach preserve put it in a bowl and uh, heat it up in the microwave, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or so. Pull it out, put your scoops of vanilla ice cream in there, stir it up, and man, you talk about some good eating. And she's got just a, a buffet of things you can add on it, you know, every kind of nut in the world, pecan, pecan, uh, hazelnut, uh, almonds, cashews, corn nuts, all right, maybe not corn nuts, but, well, she may have corn nuts. I don't know. But uh, any kind of sprinkles, any color, any combination of colors, and uh, all kinds of syrups. And, man, it's just she doesn't need any other flavor. But people kept pestering her to get one more flavor. And I'll give you one guess what it is. Chocolate. So yes, now she has chocolate. And uh, so you folks who've been bothering her to get chocolate, y'all need to stop in there and make it worth her while. And uh, preserves and chocolate, to me, is not the greatest combination, but maybe you're just getting chocolate and then put more chocolate stuff on it. Chocolate chips, chocolate syrup, chocolate sprinkles. Just have a chocolate fit. But uh, anyhow, some people really like their chocolate. I, I like chocolate myself, but uh, anyhow, I may get a 
may mix it up, do some vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Be a little crazy. That'd be pretty wild for me to do something like that. Anyhow, folks, y'all stop on in to Maldine's Ice Cream on 14 Main. Stop on in and them lovely flavors will drive you insane. How about that, Maldine? Little jingle for you. And uh, no charge. I will have to ask you not to use it anywhere else or uh, we'll have to have a little conversation. All right, folks. Well, that's going to wrap up this little session. Y'all be sure and leave a comment or and or subscribe. Don't you like that and or? I need to quit saying that. That's it. Get all those and ors in the office memos. Take that and or and shove it. You know, they got me in the habit of saying it. So y'all, you guys, need to leave a comment. Leave your love, leave your hate. I'll turn that hate into love because, you know, folks out here at the chicken coop, we're all into the love, man. That's all it's about, baby. And uh, anyways, I got to wrap this up. This has been a Horace Freed coming to you from the chicken coop radio. Bye-bye now.